Secret Sauce is, is our focus on users. It always has been. Uh, so we remain very, very focused on uh, users. The first question we always ask ourselves is, is this product or service going to make users' lives better in some material way? Um, so it really does start there. Um, can we make their lives fun and useful at the same time? We work each and every day to earn the trust of our users. Um, we take that very, very seriously. Um, and we like to have some fun and not take ourselves too seriously along the way. Uh, technology continues to accelerate at a pace we've never seen before. I don't necessarily think that's specifically new, but uh, we saw specific inflection points in terms of uh, technologies in, in a couple important ways, which has really translated into higher expectations for consumers. So specifically, we've seen the year of mobile really happen. Uh, it's been a seismic shift to mobile. We've seen that in our business. We've seen it in the world around us. Um, that is enormous. Um, I'm just back from CES, where the world of um, the Internet of Things, where uh, pretty much everything is starting to be connected to, uh, to everything, is becoming real. Um, and again, what that means for consumers, um, they're the same people they've always been, but their expectations have continued to ratchet up even, even uh, higher. So they expect instant gratification. They expect to be able to curate the experiences uh, around them. They, they have their own experts that they consult, typically on the web. Uh, but overall, uh, their expectations have gone up such that um, delivery of seamless experiences across offline and online, and even across different devices, become uh, table stakes. So we focused relentlessly in the past uh, year on delivering on that promise. A large uh, focus in the past year in specific has been around the agency ecosystem to really help empower the smaller businesses in the, uh, in the, Canadian, um, uh, in the Canadian economy to really get them onto the, onto the, uh, into the digital world in a, in a seamless way. So specifically, we launched a, a program called Google Partners, which is essentially a matching uh, function, a switchboard, if you will, between businesses and agencies to really provide that function. And we pioneered that first here in Canada uh, and are now rolling it out uh, subsequently all over the world. Um, so we're very proud of that specific uh, effort here. And there, there are numerous things that we've done along the lines where we're starting to, starting to really, uh, again, work with Canadian businesses because the gap between where consumers in Canada are and Canadian businesses continues to be too large and, and grow. So Canadians have uh, for a long time been leaders in terms of embracing technology uh, and the like, whereas businesses have been uh, tended to be a little uh, slower and have lagged behind a bit. I want to underline the consumer expectations because that is, it sounds trite, but it's very true. Canadians now expect that they can um, order um, products and have them shipped to their home from Canadian retailers. Uh, that is, is, is very, very true. Uh, for, in the business community, I would say we've switched from, fully switched from a world of why we should embrace digital and why we should think about these seamless experiences to how. Um, that has been a very fundamental shift in the past year. Um, I'd also say that as it relates to advertising itself, we're starting to, to really fixate on the notion of and as opposed to or, meaning how do these, these, these various channels, these various channels, um, media outlets start to work in unison together. Um, and again, that was not necessarily the case one year ago, but if you take, for example, a, a television campaign today, advertisers and, and agencies are fundamentally starting to think about how that experience extends much beyond just that 30 second spot to create experiences that engage uh, users because you know, nine out of 10 uh, Canadians are actually interacting with more than one device at one, uh, at one point. That's per Ipsos, as you well know. The ultimate goal is to get technology to get out of the way. Um, whether that's in your car, whether that's uh, with things like Google Glass and wearable computing devices, whether it's your TV. You know, I, I think you can start to see in the next uh, 12 to 18 months perhaps, those connection points being real uh, and us delivering against products and solutions that, again, start to take the technology out of the way. Because there's a very real risk with everything being connected to everything, that data overload uh, becomes even more real than it is today. I think there'll be a, a premium placed on the ability to curate those experiences, um, allowing platforms for people to do that, um, to ultimately, as I said, get the technology out of the way and improve users' lives.
in a material way. We strive to earn the trust of our users every day. Without that, you know, it's really hard to create the, the products and services that, that improve the, the someone's life in a material way. So uh, that's a material uh, focus. I don't see that changing. I draw my inspiration from Google. I really do. And, and the Googlers, as I was just describing, I mean, there's not a day that, that goes by where I'm just like, wow, this is, a, this is just an amazing company, still with the spirit of a startup that's doing incredible things. I really do uh, draw my inspiration from you know, what's happening here, um, the bets we're placing, uh, you know, not just in the, in the digital and the advertising space, but really across a broad spectrum of the biggest problems that are conf confronting uh, humanity today. Well, I'd really hope it would be us because that would mean we've been doing our, uh, our job of delivering uh, and earning the love of Canadians and Canadian businesses. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's Google. Cool.